Welcome back to the King's Corner, the place for all things Bethesda. I am the King Fan Man. Today we are going to continue talking about the scary things of Fallout 76. And no, it's not the monsters, the Flatwoods monster or the Mothman. Now those things are scary, but to me there are some things that are scarier. It's the places of Fallout 76. We already looked at Moundsville State Penitentiary and today we are going to the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. The Weston State Hospital near the small town of Weston, West Virginia, located very close to the middle of the state in real life, and in Fallout 76 it is appropriately placed in the Savage Divide. Now it is also known as the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. It sits on 666 acres. Yes, you heard me right, 666, and that was done on purpose. This gothic masterpiece is called one of the most haunted places in the United States. Now, be sure to stick around because we will talk a lot more about that, but first, let me tell you why. If there is any such thing as a haunted place, then this is certainly the place. Construction began in 1858, but it was disrupted by the Civil War and was finished in 1881. And it is the largest hand-cut stone masonry building in all of North America. In fact, it is the second largest in all the world, only being smaller than the Kremlin in Moscow. It was originally constructed to be a hospital for the mentally ill but it first served as a military base and hospital during the Civil War. Sadly, up until the late 1800s, the mentally ill, if they couldn't be treated or cared for in a normal medical facility, were often placed in common prisons. But they would soon find out that a prison cell would be a paradise compared to the horror that would be waiting them at the Weston State Hospital. In 1861, the doors of the asylum were officially opened to patients, and the hospital was designed to hold 250 mentally ill patients. However, the asylum quickly reached that limit and kept taking patients for all kinds of ailments, even drug addicts and alcoholics were housed amongst the mentally ill. It was even said that husbands could have their wives committed for extreme moodiness and PMS. Sadly, however, there was no age restriction. If parents had an unruly child, many times they would drop them at the asylum, sometimes never to see them again. The numbers of the patients grew from the 250 capacity to a maximum of 2,400 souls at its height. The conditions at the asylum were also no laughing matter, and the treatments, if you can even call them that, were crude, barbaric, and even monstrous. Many times, if they didn't have a bed or if they had a very unruly patient, they would keep them in cages. Also, you have to understand that in the late 1800s and even in the early 1900s, there was very little understanding of mental health, and many of the treatments were just tests and trials, like the patients were their very own guinea pigs. Treatments such as electroshock, chemical and acid treatments, even lobotomies, which are crude brain surgeries, even what is known as the ice pick lobotomy was performed quite frequently at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Finally, after more than a century of operation and from immense government pressure, the Weston State Hospital shut its doors to patients. However, after all the living patients left, the workers almost immediately started reporting paranormal activity cold spots throughout the building, moans and screams being heard when no one was in the building, doors opening and closing, and even hair and clothes being pulled and tugged. There has also been more sightings of ghosts than could even be numbered. 
And the people witnessing these spirits are people like doctors and nurses, orderlies, janitors, aides, and the management personnel. In 2007, it was purchased and reopened for tours. The asylum today has gained national attention for its paranormal activity, with almost every major ghost and paranormal show making multiple visits to the hospital. But that, that's not the incredible thing. The incredible thing is that each and every one got solid evidence of the paranormal when visiting. In fact, there is one specific video evidence that the TAPS group, better known as Ghost Hunters, recorded that still baffles scientific minds today. So what could Bethesda do with such a place? That so many credible people today have said that in the Civil War wing, they have seen the soldier named Jacob speaking to them. Will he be in Fallout 76? Or maybe they will have Ruth in the game that so many witnesses have heard her scream and seen her figure and felt her icy fingers. Or maybe they will have Lily, the small ghost that's kind of playful, that will even play with the ball on the ground and roll it back and forth. But don't get too comfortable because right around the corner lurks the black shadow that they call the crawler. It not only crawls on the ground, but it crawls on the walls and the ceiling. You better watch all around you. But maybe Bethesda is saving the biggest surprise for the fourth floor. Because the staff says the fourth floor is not for the faint of heart. And you better not go to the fourth floor alone. So what's up there? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hey guys, I'm going to give you my old line. I cannot wait to explore the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. I would like to explore it either in the game or in real life. You know, I was looking through the ghost tours online and the cheapest one I found was $35. It went $35, $40, and then $250 for a ghost tour. And then I thought, you know what? That makes the price of Fallout 76 not seem so bad. Almost heaven. I have to say something real quick at the end of this. I don't bring, mean to bring us down, but this is very important to me. Uh, having a daughter with a disability, I have to say this. I'm so very thankful that we have come leaps and bounds in the medical profession. I know things aren't perfect today. I know we still have a ways to go, but I'm so thankful that the things that went on uh, in the history of our country, the things that went on there at the uh, state hospital don't go on today. Uh, it's so sad what happened to those mentally ill patients uh, that, that happened all around our country. It, it just breaks my heart. So uh, when I cover things like this, I mean no disrespect to what happened, uh, what some of those uh, poor people went through. And I, I, it's I, so, 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 so sad. And I, I, I have so much respect for them and their families. Check the description below for all of my links. And if you're able, think about becoming a Patreon and supporting this channel. I would appreciate it more than you will ever know. And if you're not a subscriber, that's free. All you have to do is click that button and be checking for another scary place coming very, very soon. You got to keep watch because YouTube won't tell you these days. Thanks, YouTube. I am the King Fan Man. I'll see you next time.